Good afternoon, everybody. I am the chocolate and God is the thunder. Because of that, I'll never go under. So we about to get y'all leftovers and eat with me. Come on, if y'all ain't eat already, get y'all leftovers and let's eat. Okay, so I got me this Shasta, this old Tiki Punch. Y'all know where I got this from? The good old Dollar Tree. Let's give it up for the good old Dollar Tree. Yeah, I know I call it the good old Dollar Tree until it get on my nerves. Then I'm going to call it the ghetto old Dollar Tree. That's when it gets on my nerve. All right, that Tiki Punch is good, though. It's good. It's something. And I got me some dessert, y'all. Let me show you my dessert. I made this. I'll do a video on it one day. I just didn't have time to do it yesterday. But one day I will. Let's see. Hopefully y'all can see it. And that is... Like a chocolate, that's a chocolate pudding, a cupcake, and some cookies in that. I hooked that dessert up, and it's good, too. So I have me my vegan mac and cheese. I got me some rice and beans and some good old candy yams. Take your candy yams and put them together with your macaroni and cheese. It tastes so good. Mm. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. This food is good. Mm. Sure enough is. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, sure enough is. But you know when you've made all of them different Thanksgiving dishes. It's like, even though you cleaned up and everything, it's like, you got to almost clean up. Like, you know, almost like three and maybe four times. Well, it's like, you got to really like have some good, um, um, like air freshener because all them different smells of food. Mmm. They stick around for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Y'all know what I want to talk about? Mm. Oh, that's good. From, you know what I want to talk about? The man of God. The gifted man of God testimony, Mr. Calante Gavin. Let's give it up for the man of God. I'm going to give it up for the man of God. And you know why I'm giving it up for him? Because the enemy can no longer hold anything over his head because of that testimony. Mmm. Mmm. And you know... The way he testified was in decency and order. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, The enemy hates it when we testify and tell how God brought us out of some out of something. He always want to add his two little cents that nobody asked for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. An enemy loves to add his two cents to the testimony when we're telling about the goodness of Jesus and nobody asked him. Nobody asked him. When it comes to my testimony, ain't nobody adding nothing to it. It ain't nobody taking away, taking nothing away from it. Why? Because it's my testimony. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mm-hmm. So... I thank God for the man of God keeping it all the way real. When he was talking about knowing how to do the church antics, ooh, woo, my mind went back to when I was a young saved person in the church. I knew how to do the church antics too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I knew how to shout 
just because the music sounded good. Mm. When in all actuality, I was an empty soul sitting in a church seat. You know, a lot of church people know how to put on the front. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But honey, God be wanting us to keep it saints of God, save sanctified people. God wants us to keep it real with him. If we're going through something and we're battling and need deliverance, the Lord God, he wants to know. So I thank God when the man of God, Kalante Gavin, stood up there and just allowed the Holy Spirit to lead him into that testimony, he became free. You see, the enemy loves to hold stuff over our head. Yes, he do. Yes, he do too. That devil can't hold nothing over my head. Not a thing. Not one thing. Amen. Hmm. Mm. And I know. Mm. I know how free. The man of God sings. See, now, see, and the reason why I know, because, you know, when a person is molested or any type, or get any type of, uh, or get violated sexually as a young child, let me tell you something. That does bring on the spirit of perversion. It does. It really truthfully does. Because that is of the devil. And it is what it is. And so, when the man of God was talking about the conversations he was having with God. You know, I had conversations with God regarding my own situation. When I was younger and just couldn't understand, my thing was, God, why didn't you protect me? That was my whole thing. That was, God, why didn't you protect me from demonic adults? Oh, Jesus. That was my whole thing. Oh, yeah. But when I got to know the Lord Jesus Christ for myself and got to know him all over again, whoo, and he delivered my soul and made me whole. Now when I shout, my shout is for real. Oh, the woman, don't get it twisted. The woman of God goes in. Thank you, Lord. As the spirit moves me, the woman of God goes in when it comes to her praising the Lord. And it's real. It feels as light as a feather. So now when the man of God, Kalante, when he shout unto the Lord, because he, he's free, glory to God. He is free of that condemnation that the enemy, thank you, Jesus, was holding over him. Watch his shout. And his worship and everything is going to be totally different. And I'm not saying that he was faking it now or anything like that. I'm just saying, when you've really been delivered by the power of God, it causes, whew, thank you, Jesus. It causes them footsteps to be a little lighter. Oh, my God, my God, my glory, 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 glory. Because why? Jesus said, he told his disciples, and it's in the New Testament, if you continue with my word, you are my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Oh, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's the word. Amen. Hmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, and like I said, it was done in decency and order. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, when I became free in God, I always had the word in me. I told y'all, when I was younger, one of my um, spiritual fathers was, may he rest in peace, Bishop Clarence Keaton. So he, he instilled the word in us. He taught us the word. He used to do Bible studies. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the Bible studies was on... Tuesdays and I think after that it was choir rehearsal or he would have two nights of Bible study 
we would have shut-ins. And let me let me let me break it down, break it down, break it down to the ground. Our shut-ins in that church, and the name of the church was True Worship Church. Our shut-ins, it wasn't about watching no movies and all of that. It was about praying. And it was about getting the word. And let me tell y'all something. It was more about praying. We would be in there praying and just seeking the face of God. He, we was doing this at a young age. So the word was always in me. The word of God was in my soul. But I know when God freed me, whew, thank you, Jesus. And I stopped being a fence straddler because yeah, a fence straddler is when one foot is in the church and one foot is in the world. That was me. But when God freed me of that, ooh, that word came alive even more. Oh, Jesus, glory to God. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because once the Lord frees you, he frees you indeed. Amen. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, excuse me. This macaroni too is good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and when you become that different person and that new creature in Christ, sometimes some of the religious, nope, some of the sacrilegious types of church people always got something slick to say out their mouth. Oh, I remember when. I remember, you know, people like that. You know how I've learned to deal with them. Why don't you remember your own remember when? It's like, I remember when with you too. You wasn't no holy, holy, holy. You wasn't holy, holy like you wanted people to believe. I'm just saying. Sometimes you got to put them type of people in their place. Rebuke them. They need Because they need to be rebuked because they talk too much. And saying stuff like, oh, I remember when. That, what, what, what? That sounds like, um, you know... It's almost sound like that's being the prodigal son brother. What, you're mad because the Lord delivered and set me free? What, you're angry? <laughs> you're mad because I didn't stay bound? Hey, God, because sometimes sacrilegious church people love to see people bound. Yes, they do. Some of them do. Yes, they do. Oh, yes, they do. Let the wall say amen. Amen. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Mmm, that's why it's so important to be connected. When you when you say when you, when when you are a saved person and really, you know, what I'm saying taking your salvation seriously. Let me tell you something. You got to have the right spiritual connection, like for real. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This food is so good. That vegan macaroni and cheese is filling. Mm. Oh yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have room for dessert. Mmm. <laughs> and I got salad here too. Mmm. I got me some lettuce. Yeah, just some cucumbers. Mm-hmm. So, and it's very important to know your own relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm very happy for the man of God. I'm very happy for the man of God that he refused to stay, you know, he refused to stay um, bound. I'm so happy for him. And if it's necessary for him to get um, any type of therapy, I hope he don't feel no type of way or feel bad about having to, you know, go and get any type of therapy. Because you know what? The Bible does say, seek wise counsel. It does. Mm. My lips are so greasy. What is food? <laughs>
Mmm. Y'all know I got them collard greens. These are mixed collards. These are collards and kales together. Mmm. Bam. Got that hot sauce. Ooh, Jesus. Okay, so thank God for the man of God. Praise God. And I hope that his testimony creates a, you know, that other people do the same thing. I, I'm serious because it's nothing like being saved and bound up. I'm telling you. It's almost, it's like, um, I think, you know, you know, when I was bound up, thank you, Jesus. It's, it's, it was something because the enemy, he will really... He'll try to take that and lead you right out the church. It's true and lead you right out of the salvation of the Lord. It's true, but that devil is a liar. Mmm. When dealing with such spiritual matters, it's like the individual has to make a choice to no longer be bound. Amen. Mm. Because believe you me, believe you me, and let me tell you something, the enemy works through people, he'll work through people, especially, especially church people, saved people, when they allow themselves to be worked through by the devil, it's true, oh yeah, oh yeah. So that's why it ain't good to be all sacrilegious and all of that and self-righteous. Nobody don't want to hear that. Uh-uh. Hmm. Hmm. But like the Apostle Paul said, but we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We have. We have. But you know what? God's grace is sufficient. Ooh, glory. Glory. Mm. Amen. Praise God. Praise Him. Mm. And he did his testimony in decency and order. In decency and order. Praise God. He did it as the Spirit led him. Amen. No. He didn't overtell anything. He told exactly what the Lord wanted him to. I know that's right. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I tell y'all one thing. I'm going to tell y'all a story about Kalante. I forget what it was, the prayer breakfast. I was watching it on television. Kalante. So everybody was in there praying and stuff. You know, you had some of these people acting bougie. Like they don't know what the, you know, they were just acting real prim and proper and very bougie. So anyway, they was all sitting there, you know, and the newsman was there. I forget. Excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. I forget what newsman it was. But I wish I knew his name. But he was a black man. Okay? Y'all, I know this news anchor is saved. And I know he got the Holy Ghost. And I could I know by when Kalante got up and started ministering in song. So you know you got all these pristine, bougie people. Sitting there prim and proper, acting all like they don't know how to, you know, praise God or whatever. They was all, you know, orderly and all this stuff. Kalante got up there and started praying and singing. And it was like, I mean, he was just going in. He was praising God and just going in. It was like, let, you know I mean? let, let everybody lift their hands up and praise the Lord. I mean, I'm telling y'all, and the newsman, I thought that newsman was about to start shouting. 
I'm sitting in my living room. Like, y'all better praise him. Because if I was there, oh, I would have been praising God right with them. Mm-hmm. Yes, that did my heart so well to see. I said, "Woo, Kalante, Gavin, he, 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 he shook it up in that place. That's right. God ain't dead. He's yet alive. I know that's right. Mm. God is not dead. Amen. So that's my great memory. You know, Kalante, Gavin, he's the truth. He is the truth. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These collard greens are the truth. Speaking of collard greens and cornbread, y'all know Fantasia Barino is pregnant. Yes, she is. The woman of God and her husband, Kendall, the man of God, they are expecting a baby. Oh, yes, they are. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, they are. Mmm. I'm so happy for them. Woo. So, that is wonderful. She stood up, and she had on this cute velour, like a tannish sweatsuit. Because y'all know Fantasia Barino, she can dress. That woman can dress. Yes, she can. She can dress for real. So she had on this cute, oh, she got a cute baby bump. She got a cute baby bump. So yes, they are expecting child. Mm hmm She already announced it, so I'm not telling her business. Oh no. Mm-mm. These things are so good. I like some greens. You know, I don't necessarily have to have them with cornbread either. I ain't gonna lie. As far as meat is concerned, I was missing me a little good old piece of ham. Hmm. Mmm. I used to hook my ham up. Mmm-hmm. I was cooking in orange juice. <laughs> I will hope my ham used to be good. I was missing a good old little piece of ham. Not no spam. I don't miss spam. I don't miss spam, but I used to eat it. I do not miss no spam. Uh-uh. Mmm. I am full. I know I'm not going to be able to eat no dessert, so I'm not going to try. I'll let y'all look at it. <clears throat> look at what. I ain't gonna be able to eat this. I'm full. I have a little, a little bite. Mmm. 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 Mm -mm. That's my leftover Thanksgiving. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Alright, y'all. Be blessed. Bye now.